Oh, uh, hello. Hi, Andrew Andrew here. We are seeing Once at the Jacobs Theater. Once is based on a film by the same name. It's a boy meets girl story, and the characters are literally, literally named boy and girl. Amazing reviews off-Broadway, and it's moved to Broadway. Unfortunately, we didn't see it off-Broadway because the whole Irish pub jig of maroon thing. Not, not our favorite cup of tea. Yeah, for some reason we just not didn't Not our respond favorite pint of Guinness. So I think that we owe it to ourselves to report to you whether or not Once should be seen once, twice, or never at all. Was that enough? We're actually walking to a cash machine at intermission. You're gonna need some cash, I think. Because there's access to the stage before the show and during the intermission. And there's a working bar. So this might not be our cup of tea, but it's definitely our cup of beer. Exactly. So we got the cash, we're gonna go back inside. We're, oh. gonna, we're gonna make this uh, intermission a uh, bit of the review really quick because we wanna get back on stage and back to the bar. I think I was downplaying how unthrilled I was about seeing this show. It doesn't strike me as the sort of thing that I would like, but I'm loving it. I feel the exact same way. Right? We're gonna get back to stage and we'll see you after the show. Oh my god, we just got out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a doozy of a show. The whole shtick with allowing you on stage at the beginning of the show to and go get it, And intermission. It comes across maybe a little gimmicky. It reminded me of the way a magician will say, look, there's nothing up my sleeve. Yes. Come, look at the stage. Yes. Well, there's nothing special going on here. No tricks, no mirrors. Yes. Well, actually, there's tons of mirrors. But then you know what happens after the magician shows you there's nothing up his sleeve? They produce... Magic. Complete magic. You think it's your typical boy meets girl love story it's so much richer so much denser so much more complex than that it's sort of a love letter to Ireland and mm -hmm. I'm glad that I'm wearing the green gentlemen who enjoy ladies who might be considering this for a date total panty dropper and you will not be bored this is gonna be like my Mormon replacement when yeah. people say what can, what can I see and I'm like book a Mormon and they're like what can't get the tickets and I'm like once we're fans of downtown theater of mm -hmm. St. Anne's. We've seen Edna Walsh's shows. We know the choreographer. Are you pronouncing the name correctly? Edna Walsh. Edna Walsh. Uh, yeah. Um, Edna. Edna but Walsh. But it's a dude. Yeah. Okay. I believe. Uh, we've seen Penelope. We love New Electric Ballroom. Mm -hmm. Black Watch mm -hmm. choreography. I can't believe that these downtown mavens of downtown theater yeah. have done this uptown and they've done it right. Because it has a, sort of almost like a Disney vibe to it. Yeah, but it's but not in a bad way. It's so sincere. Such a beautiful, magical little show. And yet, it's so large. It's a true life affirming. You're getting a little teary eyed. Anyone that has a passion, whether it's art, music, dance, theater, even banking, if you've got a passion and you have a dream, this show is for you. I say once, why not twice? So I guess we could say two green, green lights. lights. See what I what? did? The bow ties. Because it's Irish. Yeah. Two green pints. Beautiful show. Go see it. Yeah. Highly recommended. Something for everyone, for sure. Uh, no, not Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> once at Jacob Theater. Oh, Bernard oh, B. Jacob. Bernard B. Jacob Theater. Excuse me, Bernard.